So universally, everything's affected by this. And as I bring it down, you'll notice everything starts to combine. This might actually even be more obvious if I do something like this. If I get rid of this effect and I drag on a mere quad to this, and I try to bring the other effect in, you'll notice this clip is also impacted the same way. And I can change the parameters over here of how much of that shows through. So you can actually layer, if I get rid of this clip, I can actually layer using the effect. I can have a single image, the mirrored quad image, or a little bit of both. I can also pull the colors out of that, the same way we did with the clips earlier. So you just have the blue channel. If you want to look 3D, you can have blue and green. So again, and you can move it up and down the cells by clicking these arrows. Again, this is a really good way to organize uh, simple effects that you might use on a regular basis, like anything involving color correction. Say all of your clips have to be grayscale. So I drag on grayscale, now everything's grayscale. And I can adjust, if I want to just desaturate, I can do that. Or I can make it all grayscale. If I want everything to be, say I want it to all be super saturated, I can do that as well. Get rid of the grayscale. And again, I can change out the colors on this. If I want depth cubes, I can do that. Although seemingly, this is the effect that doesn't want to work, so we're going to pull that off. And now notice too, I'll take the saturation off. If I put grid of diamonds in, it creates a grid of diamonds. Again, you'll notice now I'm taking a video image and actually making it into a mere representation of itself. So we think it might be a drill, but it's not the actual video of the drill. We just have colors being generated by that. As I go over here and take down the opacity on this clip and bring up the doctor clip, you'll notice these diamonds change to look like the doctor. So you can actually take regular video and make it into a pretty complex video image just by altering it this way. Again, the effect sends are extremely useful when applying effects to your video on the fly without having to go through and either apply the effect to a specific clip or without having to go all the way through the effects menu and risk having your performance go to hell while you're at the club. I'm Bill Holland for GearWire.com. We'll be back with more on Resolium.